I'm Stuart Gibbs. I'm the author of the Spy School series, the Moonbase Alpha series, and the Fun Jungle series. And this is my newest book, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, because of the way uh, video works on uh, computers, uh, you're getting a mirror image of this. But I promise you that if you actually look for the book in stores, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex will be spelled uh, the proper way, not in mirror version. Um, now, I know uh, this is a tough time. For kids you guys are really sort of stuck in your homes uh quarantine is not a whole lot of fun uh you're cut off from your friends and, and maybe you're even starting to actually miss school right now uh so i thought i would just talk to you guys about some things that you could do to sort of make your your lives a little more interesting now uh obviously this is a great time to catch up on your reading uh, I'm sure your parents have told you this maybe six or seven thousand times so far, but there are a lot of really great books out there, not just my books, but uh, uh, plenty of other great authors have written some great books as well, so it's a great time to catch up on them. But if you have some interest in writing, this could be the best time to ever uh, start doing some writing of your own. Now, interestingly, this is not the first book I ever wrote about dinosaurs. Um, <clears throat> This is the first book I ever wrote about dinosaurs. I wrote this book when I was probably younger than you. I was in kindergarten. Uh, you, you may not quite be able to tell due to the fine cover design I did here, but this is called The Day the Dinosaurs Came Back, uh, written and illustrated by Stuart Gibbs. And uh, I, I, I wrote this book when I was in kindergarten. My teachers helped me make this book. As you can see that my my cover design has gotten a lot better in the intervening years because now I have the great Lucy Cummins doing my cover design, whereas uh, back then I do this by myself. Uh, but I, I wrote this book. Uh, it was about dinosaurs coming back uh, to life from... Um, sort of magically came back to life. It was put in my school library. This is how people used to check out books. Uh, they used to have a card like this, and they would they would you could check out the book. Uh, so people checked it out, and then I was allowed to take this book from home. First of all, this is a wonderful thing that my, my school librarian did for me back when I was in kindergarten. I actually let me make a book uh, like this. Now, you might be saying to yourselves, wait a minute, uh, uh, the plot of this book sounds an awful lot like the plot of Jurassic Park uh, by Michael Crichton, but in my defense, I wrote this before Michael Crichton wrote this. So I'm not saying Michael Crichton stole the idea from me, but it's, I don't know, it's possible uh, that, uh, well, at least at the very least, I didn't steal the idea from him. This is my idea first. Uh, but okay, so where did I get this idea? Well, the thing was when I was a kid, I was just fascinated by dinosaurs. And I thought, what could be better than being in a world where dinosaurs still existed? In retrospect, maybe that wasn't the best thing to actually wish for because uh, it was kind of dangerous. Um, but uh, uh, but but I think you know when kids are like looking for writing prompts, this is this is a good one to just. To, I, a lot of people say write what you know, but I, but I would amend that and say write what fascinates you. Uh, take something that fascinates you. If you love sports, uh, you know what would it be like to be able to be a professional baseball player at your age, or a soccer player, or 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 to go to the Olympics at your age. If if uh, you're fascinated by science, what would it be like uh, by, by space travel? What would it be like to go into space at your age? Just take what fascinates you and and put yourself into that world imagine what it would be like to go into that world so much of my writing uh is is me imagining what it's like to be in the world of spies or what it's like to be uh on a moon base or what it's like to live in a giant zoo that uh that's the kind of stuff that has always uh, sparked my ideas and so maybe it'll spark an idea for you guys um other things you could do uh what is keeping my family busy right now a lot of jigsaw puzzles and we're building a lot of forts in the house. Uh, my kids uh, are, uh, they're, they're actually a little, uh, we haven't built a fort in a long time, but we found that uh, building forts uh, is, is still a great way to pass the time here. Uh, then you do have to clean the fort up. Don't build a fort and then stick your parents uh, with that. And actually, while I'm on it, um, Every parent on earth, including your parents, has asked me to tell you that uh, while you uh, are uh, stuck at home for a while, this wouldn't really be a bad time to clean up your room. Uh, so, okay, again, I'm Stuart Gibbs, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the new book, uh, but obviously there are many, many other books. Uh, I uh, obviously haven't done a great job of cleaning my office either, but uh, the Spy School series, the Moonbase Alpha series, the Fun Jungle series, uh, the and oh, and the new Charlie Thorne series as well, um, which I should oh right, Ugh. Charlie Thorne, the Last Equation, right there. So uh, any of those books, any book by any other author. Uh, 
I know it's not easy out there, kids, but um, we're going to get through this together, okay? Uh, I know it seems bad, but, but we will get through this. So in the meantime, let's all make the best of it, and uh, let's do some reading.